Hi, everyone. My name is Lauren, a program director for the YMCA of Metropolitan Detroit with a focus on healthy living. And this here is my spooky friend, Leland. She's a student at the YMCA Learning Center. You're tuning in today for the first segment in our Snacktivity series. In every one of these segments, you can expect to learn a healthy recipe or tip, along with the strategies to build fun, healthy relationships with food. So whether you're packing lunches that get sent to school or trying to make a quick snack in between Zoom calls, we think these recipes and tips are sure to be a hit. Today, in preparation for Halloween, we're going to be making a spooky bat kebab. A bat kebab, um, what we call at home, is just a snack skewer. So we use a shish kebab stick. You can also use a cocktail straw if you're worried about the point. And you can pick a variety of foods. Today here, we're focusing on fresh fruit as well as some cheese cubes. But you can use whatever you want at home. The great strategy that we use here is allowing our children uh, voice, choice, and creativity in their foods. We know that when kids have more options to select their own healthy foods and can manipulate in ways that are interesting to them, they're a lot more likely to try new foods and develop positive eating habits. So today, again, we've got the fruit and the cheeses. One of our other favorite combos is the mini pancakes and strawberries. We do those sometimes on the weekend, a little brunch kebab. Those are good. All right, let's get started, okay? So we've got our bat skewers here. Uh, this is a great opportunity to extend the activity and make it a little bit of arts and crafts. Let your kid cut out their bat or whatever spooky structure they want. We put some googly eyes on here, okay? And then we're going to begin putting on our food. So this is where the child gets the option to pick their different items. Leland, why don't you go ahead and get started, okay? So you can pick whatever foods that you like. Another way to manipulate the food to make it a little bit more exciting is to utilize some other tools. So I've got a melon baller here. It just makes it a little bit more interesting with the shapes. You can also use um, a crinkle cutter. We use these a lot with our cucumbers or our cheese. Again, when kids see foods in different shapes, sometimes that's all it takes to get them excited and interested in trying it. So you thread your materials on. You can also talk about patterns and use this time to engage with your kids on positive eating habits. So instead of using phrases like yuck or that's gross, encourage your kids to talk about texture, color, sweetness or sour, and then use affirmative statements. Affirmative statements are just positive things about the food. So you might say something like, these blackberries here have natural sugar that give us energy to play. Avoid things um, like saying foods are bad or fattening or you shouldn't eat them. And instead talk about um, eating things that are more healthful for you on a more frequent basis. All right, let's see what we've got. Ah, a jumper. That's all right. Leland, do you think this snack is spooky enough for Halloween? All right, sit back and enjoy with your family. Join us next time on our Healthy Snacktivity series at home. <laughs> 